a couple of months back, maybe three months ago, I went to the South Island and we photographed a friend's wedding. I photographed it on digital and then I, uh, I took a few shots on the Zeiss Icon to M. Now, like a fool, I forgot to note down what film it was and what the ISO setting was. So now I've got three spare frames and I've no idea what to shoot them at. I decided to plump for Ilford FP4 rated ISO 400 instead of the box speed of 125. That's just because I've used that quite successfully in the past. hoping that that's the film that I've put in and that's the ISO setting that I used. What I decided to do was burn off the last three frames with my little granddaughter here. Amber Bambi, Amber, hello beautiful. Yeah, and she's got a new dolly called Minty because she's mint coloured. Yay! Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this film out of the camera. Let's just see <laughs> if I guessed correctly. And it was FP4. Let's have a look. Now in future, obviously, when I shoot a roll of film and I've got a few frames left, don't you get near the edge, babes, because woohoo, she's a bit of a drop. And your mum will go apo if I drop you on the floor and bump your head. So you sit over there, Missy Miss. Go on, bag it off. And there's the eye contour. Now what I've done, I've rewound the film. Fully rewound it. Let's open the back. Here's the moment of truth. Is it FP4 Plus? Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't even know what that is. So look, is that FP4 Plus? It is, it is, look, look, look. Ilford, Ilford FP4 Plus. And I'm pretty sure I will have rated it ISO 400 because that's what I've been doing with this film. And it's been working really, really well for me. So we're going to develop that film up and see what we've got on there. These look beautiful. A few little light leak. Oh, Jesus. Major light leak on the last few that I've done. Looks like a big light leak on that one. But the others look fine. So that's good. That's good. That one's a shocker. Look at that one. Look at the state of that one. That's when I shot Amber down at the swings. Absolute shocker. These ones look pretty cool, actually. A little bit of a light leak there. These are the from the wedding I shot in the South Island. So there's a little bit of a light leak there, but the rest of them, a bit of a light leak at the top, but look at the exposure on there, man. That is looking pretty damn good. Loving it. Okay, so the guests at, and, and these look okay, these look fine. These were in the van, little Amba Bamba. So my guess at ISO 400 for the FP4 Plus, looks like it was bang on. Just a few little light leaks on the camera to worry about. Other than that, She's a good one. She's a good one. Let's get this one out to dry.
So once again, absolutely incredibly blown away by this 1950s old folder. She's an absolute beauty. Just shows that you don't need the latest, greatest digital technology to come away with some more than acceptable photographs. The light leak issue, that's nothing more than when I open the back door to wind onto the next frame, light gets in there and yeah, that's what's causing the light leak. So it's nothing, nothing major. All I need to do is remember not to open the, the back window in bright light. Just wait until I get into some subdued lighting or even better still, judge it so I know how many turns to do to get onto the next frame. Then I don't have to open the, uh, the shield at all. I can just leave it completely blocked. Other than that, if you ever get a chance to, to use one of these old folders, particularly this one, because, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful little camera. And so good, so encouraging to get an half decent, acceptable result from them. Love it, love it to bits. So thanks for sticking with the channel, guys, and uh, this episode. And until next time, have a great Christmas. Catch you later.